everyone knows right now, three banks have been technically nationalized. And the reason for that is because Amcon, the resolution vehicle created by the Central Bank and Ministry of Finance, has come to the table and injected, is expected, of course, to inject capital into those companies today. Joining me in the studio, like you mentioned, is Mustafa Chikiobi, the CEO of Amcon, to shed some light on this transaction. Thank you so much, Mustafa, for joining us on the show today. First of all, what are your priorities? Because the sense is that Amcon is now the owner of these three new institutions. What are the priorities as Amcon as the owners of those banks today? Regarding the three banks, we are going to be the shareholder of the three banks, owner of the three banks. We have already announced a management team and a chairman for each of those banks. We intend for these banks to run as independent, competitive banks in the banking sector. Mm. So we expect that the management who, as you know, are very credible management teams to run those banks with little or no interference except normal fiduciary oversight of those banks. They will be well capitalized. They're no longer rescued banks. They are new, healthy banks. Mm. And they'll be expected to compete with the other banks in the marketplace. Mm. And we expect that this management will drive these banks to profitability so that in the end, the federal government will recover its investment in these banks. And how are things going to change for the stakeholders? Obviously, um, shareholders, to some extent, are, should I say, are more or less wiped out right now. And of course, we have um, staff in many of those banks. Um, we have investors, we, or rather we have depositors, and we have other people that are doing business with those banks. How are things going to change with the um, takeover, so to speak, of Amcon? Well, um, everything that has been done has been done with three primary things in mind, three directives that were not to be compromised. One, to protect the depositors. Two, to protect the employees of these banks. And three, to ensure financial system stability. Those are the three on changing objectives in this exercise. Yeah. I'm glad to say that after all the thought and work done in this, we can say definitely that those three objectives have been met. The depositors have been protected, the employees have their jobs, and the financial system is more stable today than it was on Friday. Yeah. These customers and these depositors and the employees will find a better capitalized bank. They will find a bank that's able to compete in the future. And we think that most people that deal with these banks will get the same level of service or better going forward. Yeah. And then what are the priorities after that? Obviously, you have to stabilize the institution. And you've put in new management, like you mentioned. But everyone will be expecting at some point for Amcon to do a deal with new investors. Because effectively, these banks are nationalized. So Amcon is owned by the federal government. Amcon will listen to investors and at the appropriate time when it's in the best interest of protecting the federal government investment in these banks, Amcon will be more than happy to sell to new investors. Mm. It's an ongoing process, but the timing and the optimal time to exit will be determined by market conditions. We don't expect that this will be any longer than three years, mm. but people are welcome to talk to us. People already approached us in some ways about these banks, and we will always be listening. Mm. All right, let's talk about um, the state of those banks today. Um, obviously, Amcon is going to issue 690, 679 billion, I believe, of bonds today to pretty much complete that transaction which you've done with the NDIC. Um, what, would, what would those banks look like post-transaction? Can you just give us a sense of what they look like? What they will look post-transactions is that they will have more than adequate capital. As you know, the CBN minimum capital requirement is 25 billion. So for some of these banks, the capital adequacy ratio will be well over 30%. They'll be well capitalized. They will have a good, clean balance sheet. And they'll be going out looking for business so they can start growing their risk assets. Yeah. So um, we think that these are banks that will be very, very healthy, very aggressive, and very, very able to compete in the marketplace. And profitability, I mean, obviously they're going to be holding quite a few Amcom bonds and that those are yielding something in the region of, is it 10 or 12 percent? Uh, well, they're really yielding what the market says they're yielding. I think it's in the neighborhood of 11 percent. Okay. But right. we, th we think these banks are going to be okay. 
Okay, all right. And then give us a sense of um, the, the, these bonds that you're issuing and the bearings might have on the market. Um, there are some thoughts. Uh, obviously, you've issued quite a few bonds in the past. Um, to what extent will these bonds be feeding into the bonds, or, or rather, should I say, the bond fixed income marketplace today? Is there going to be any bearing at all? I think that those discussions are probably more appropriate for a detailed briefing to analysts later during the week. Mm. But I think right now, our focus right now is to, we're very happy that all over the country there has been no lines at any of the banks. I think that we're very, we're more interested in engendering public confidence. I think that what you've seen today, given what has happened and magnitude, no lines, no panic anywhere, is a sign that the regulators over the past two years, by their actions, have created a level of confidence among the Nigerian people that their interests will always be looked after. And I think right now my focus is on those three things, the customers, depositors, the employees, and the financial system. And issues about impact of the bonds on the capital markets are probably best discussed at a future date. All right, fair enough. We will take that up some other time. Thank you so much for joining us. Mustafa Chike will be CEO of Amcon, giving us his thoughts on the transaction, should I say historic transaction, with three banks in Nigeria today.